Well, the only one really we've had a question over in the last 10, 12 days is really Al Mohammadi. Um, the next 24, 48 hours for him is going to be crucial. We'll give him as long as we can. Um, he has trained the last couple of days, so he could be in contention. We'll see what he is, what he's like, and see if, how he recovers tomorrow, and, and obviously we'll make a decision on Friday. Has he gone better than you thought he would? Yes, but that didn't surprise me because over the eight years I think I've had him, I can't really remember him picking up an injury. He doesn't miss many. Trains every day, plays every day. One of them natural ones. So um, we'll give him as much time as what's needed. How important is he? Obviously, you've, you've had, said you've had him for a year, so how important? Yeah, how important? Well, he's. Um, I've had the privilege to, to manage him for eight years in the two, three clubs I've been at. And in that respect, he's a manager's dream, really. You know, he gets home with his job, trains every day, plays, can play in a few positions for you. Going to go to the World Cup, of course, and how delighted I am from that years. So, um, yeah, he's been a, a great pro for me over the years and uh, been a delight to manage. As I said, if all players were like him, then my job would be easy because uh, he's, so, he's so easy to manage. It's going to be, what, 11 days between the second leg and the final? Is that almost too long? Um, <laughs> well, for us, for us, no, because, you know, the the one Achilles heel all season, really, if we had one, was can we recover quick enough because of the championship, the relentlessness of it, and obviously the age. The age of my squad is, is not the youngest. We understand that. So to play Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday was always the big call. To have 10, 11, 12 days preparation has been absolutely ideal for us. We had last weekend off, and... Um, We've prepared now all week, so there's a certain freshness about us and let's hope we go about the final the way we've trained all week and if we do that, we'll give ourselves a chance. We talk about age and experience. Um, John Terry's been a big player for you this season. Yep. Is this the sort of game where we're going to see? Well, I, 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 I brought in John's experience along with Alan Hutton, Yedinak, Snodgrass, Adoma, um, all people with Glenn Whelan in particular, Al Mohammadi, who we spoke about, I brought them into the club to their experience would handle playing for Aston Villa because I learned very very quickly that you have to, they have to have, you know, you're under the pump here straight away. Big club, you know, you have to hit the ground running straight away. And their experience was key to really turning Aston Villa around a little bit. Um, and of course, we'd like to sign them at 26, not at 30 odd. But obviously, if we wouldn't be able to probably afford them, that's for sure. But overall, they've been terrific. So their experience has been fantastic. And uh, sprinkled with that, some of the young players we've got and the lone players have done particularly well for us all season. So the mixture, I believe, has, has, been, has been quite right. Well, your preparation, <coughs> the preparation, I've tried to do exactly what I did when I was at Hull, when we, when we beat Sheffield Wednesday, in terms of preparation. We seemed to get it right that day. Um, the preparation for a manager, of course, is have you prepared your team, have you given them the, the basics of what, the, um, of, of what they want, and of course, then you send them over the white line and hope that they perform. And the experience of ones who've played at Wembley, been there, done it, can only help you so much. Um, so it will help you. The experience I hope that I've had in the, in the last couple of years, the few years, I hope it can stand me in good stead. And for me, it's all about now supporters, people at the stadium, the staff, everybody around me all wants the club to be in the in the Premier League. And of course, with the manager, you you you, you, you carry that burden. So I hope it's our day. Certainly the average 30-odd thousand in the, in the championship is quite remarkable. And as I've said many, many times, I believe Aston Villa, from the day I walked into the door, deserve to be in the Premier League of what we've, what we've got to offer. 
do, does the fact that you've done it, seen it, been to Wembley and won there before mean that you're kind of not dispassionate, but you can get on with your business without thinking about how the whirlwind is with everybody else? I think experience helps you, but only ex experience helps you so far. The excitement is still burns within you because that's why you do it. That's why you're in the game is to say big occasions, big big cup final at Wembley. It's what we're in it for. Let's be fair, our job usually is not very nice. People are calling for your head and this, that and the other. So when the good times come around, then try and enjoy it. Relish the occasion. We've got a big full house going to Wembley. And let's hope we can perform, have that bit of luck, what you need and uh, get the right result. Does it also mean you look out for maybe some of the younger players who've not been in that sort of situation before? Of course, you, you, you can try and help them. And, uh, but I always think though, with a little bit of experience in anything, any walk of life, if you've experienced something before, the one thing it is, it's a fantastic occasion. Big stadium, wonderful arena, you know, and of course, you can have 40,000 each of your supporters. You know, the FA Cup final when we went, we had probably 20,000 and the Lord's corporate and it's a, it's a prawn sandwich day. This is the real thing. It's your supporters. And let's be fair, we've been averaging 40,000 there the off every week. So they're all coming and they're all expecting to see their team back in the Premier League. And you mentioned the word freshness. Have you seen that freshness kind of return? Yes. It's, not, it's a long stretch. Yes. It's helped us enormously. Me concern in the semi, can we recover? But then again... You know, Middlesbrough were playing the same team and they, they had no recovery either. So, always was, we've got 12 days. A f certain freshness is valuable to to the, uh, my team anyway. So, in that respect, yes, 12 days is a long time to wait. It's like waiting for the dentist, you know. Um, but certainly in the freshness, there's a certain freshness about them and if it's give people like Al Mohammadi a chance to play. How do you assess for them from the season? Were, were they one of the top of well, it, it took a while for them to get going. Obviously, Mitrovic in January has been a big signing for them. A very, very big signing for them. Look, both sides have got good players. Fulham have got good players in their team. That's why they've finished third and give themselves a chance and been there or thereabouts for the last six months. And so with us, you know, your Grealishes and your Snodgrasses and your Gravens and your Domers goes with Kearney's and, and, uh, and McDonald's and Mitrovic up front and the kids Cessna on so. Both teams have got good players, and uh, who can perform on the day is always the big one. And then it's also understanding roles, because certainly in the semi-final, everyone would admire the way that your, your midfield worked. Yeah, and yeah. Complimented yeah, yeah. Forward. Well, well, you always get complimented when you win. That's right. You know, yeah. all of a sudden you're a tactical genius. You've been crap for the previous six months, <laughs> but uh, you turn into a tactical genius. So, um, look, the players are the ones. You prepare them as best you can. You. You, you give them as much advice as you can. They're the ones who now go over the white line and certainly they've performed admirably against Middlesbrough. Big occasion, especially up there. To go and win 1-0 up there was a terrific result. So let's hope we can go to Wembley, perform again, have a game plan, stick to it, and when we've got it, go and play in the, play in the wide open spaces that Wembley offers. And when you look at your CV and what you've won and what you've been through, will this somehow be perhaps more satisfying basically you know, the ups and downs here, but your personal stuff that's not been easy over the past few weeks? No, it certainly hasn't been easy in my personal stuff. That hasn't been easy. I'm just wondering this the most satisfying. Yeah. yeah, the most satisfying because it was arguably the biggest challenge and I've waited 20 years to have a big club, if that's the right word. And this has not let me down one bit. It's a fantastic club and one that I'm determined um, to take back to where it should be um, because it is... To have, as I said, over 30,000, it's got that big ring of it. It even, have, it, is, it even has a unique name. You know, it has a unique name around it. So it hasn't disappointed me. I've enjoyed the 19 months. It hasn't been always easy, but it'll be all worth it if we can get the result on, um, on Saturday. It'll mean that it's emotional when you walk out with the team, won't it? Sorry? It'll mean it's emotional when you walk out yeah, with yeah. the team. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, hey, when you see flags and 40,000 people and all the rest of it, yeah, absolutely. Just a final point for me, it's a bit of a gear change. Unai Emery at Arsenal, another big name from the continent coming into the Premier League. Is that a good thing, a bad thing? Do you understand it? Well, I wish him the, I wish him the best luck. He's, he's, um, he's got one of the top jobs in the country. Um, now, I think it's been a, a difficult week for everybody, English or British, to lose people like Moisey and Sam. Um, you know, you do scratch your head at times and wonder where it's going because not many of our lads are having the opportunity to work abroad. However, that's the culture of the Premier League now. 
foreign owners, foreign, foreign coaches, foreign players. Um, it's very, very difficult for the young one. I'm delighted that Steven Gerrard's gone into Rangers. And I hope that many of his generation will, 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 will take a few jobs and, and, uh, and keep progressing. Yes. Given that the, the semi-finals are two very tight games, um, do you expect this to be similar, or do you think we need to wind up the space of Wembley to be very? Yeah, I mean, look, finals, finals are finals, aren't they? You know, and usually nobody wants to make a mistake, but you know, that we've seen some cracking games. Certainly, it's got the ingredients of a good game. They're a good football inside, and so are we. So it has all the ingredients. You know, to be a real big spectacle, you have to win. As far as I'm concerned. You know, a horrible scrappy game, win one nil. You take, I'll take that all day long. But we'd all like to put on a show at Wembley and have a great football match. Um, it's all about winning, as far as I'm concerned. We've got to take the club back to where it wants to be. And you talked about the fact that preparation should be part of it. It did with Carl a couple of years ago. Is there a particular key to winning a flag final? Perform on the day. I mean, I really, no disrespect to Hull, but I think. Sheffy wins there. Were, it was two to one of certain supporters, and uh, and the Sheffy Wednesday fans were magnificent on the day. hadn't been there for years, and certainly, but on the day, really, we were we were comfortable winners. Even though we only won one nil, you know, we performed on the day. Me big players performed and performed very very well. And I think that's always the key to winning a big final or semi final at Wembley. Can you perform under intense pressure? Enjoy the challenge, go and perform, put your boots on and, uh, and relish playing in big games. And Hopefully I've got the experience in the team that can handle that. And don't have any regrets at the end of it? Don't have any regrets on, no, you can't have any regrets. And, but it's a game of football, you know, it's a game of football and fortunately somebody has to lose, but you just have to make sure it's not you. You think you've got into this management force very well? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you know, it's becoming more and more difficult, but and there's times when you know it's it's a difficult job and a lonely job and even this morning I've had breakfast on my own. As soon as I get as soon as I get near the staff, up they go and do I smell or do I? It's just that's where the way it is. Um, but certainly, certainly, you look back at the big occasions, and, and uh, hopefully it's another big occasion. It's only a big occasion if you win. Um, let's enjoy it because it's I've been a long time in it and. The reason why I came here was, can I get this place moving again? And um, we'll give ourselves a chance. Cheers.